Three multimillionaire dogs, heiress Gail Posner, shared her wealth with three chihuahuas when she died. The dogs inherited a $3 million trust fund and the run of the $8 million mansion they lived in. Attorney Jeff Gold back with me, also Lynn to weigh in on this. Jeff, have you, how common is this that someone leaves their money, their estate to their pets? Is this just another way to say to the relatives, I like them better than you? Well, legally speaking, it's been around, uh, recognized in the United States since uh, 1923. And as time goes by, people are feeling that their pets are sometimes more important than their family. There's a caveat to this. You, you can disinherit your kids and your grandkids. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a thing called a spousal share, though. You can't quite do this to your wife, you know, so easily. But with the kids and the grandkids, you can. There's a, a big question, what happens? You know, these, these animals don't live that long. So yeah, you what live happens a, to the money if right. the... A little furry fan passes away. Well, there are cases that recognize uh, grand cats that the cats, cats, oh, kittens oh my can, gosh. can inherit it. But then there's a tax consequences and other issues because these are trusts. They have to be set up as trusts. You just don't leave the money to a cat. The cat can't have a bank account per se. It has to have a, a trustee set up. And then the question is, when the money is left over, what happens then? Is it taxed, et cetera? But you can do it, and more and more people are doing it. I can't imagine what the family thinks if all the money is left to a little kitty cat. Lynn, I know yeah. you have I, something to say. Well, I just think that there are two sides to this one okay if you think that your cat is like your family then you should be able to leave your money wherever it makes you happy but the other side isn't it kind of sad it is that you feel stronger for your cat yes. than you do your family members it's one thing yeah. if it's your neighbor or your friend or whatever but your family I don't know it just makes yeah. me a little sad for the person that has to leave their millions to their I their think pet. they're almost sending a message to their family saying yeah my dog was there for me you were not therefore the pooch gets the yeah. pool the house the money the gated community. Yeah. Jeff Lynn, thank you. We're talking Duck Dynasty now. It's a can't miss reality.